Okay, so we're going to take another look at shade and tint, um, this time using paint. Now, I know that I've said many, many times that as painters, we don't use black. And usually that's true. I try to avoid that as much as possible in my personal work, but sometimes we have to. So when we add black to a color, we create what's called a shade. Now, when we do this, we have to be very, very careful. We use tiny itty bitty tiny amounts of black will go a long ways we don't want to go adding a massive amount of black we had a small amount and then if we want to go a little bit darker we add just a little bit more so that we can go from pure black up to slightly darker all the way back approaching our pure color. There's our pure color. Now on the other hand with a tint, we're doing the opposite. With a tint, we're adding small amounts or varying amounts of white to a color. So from our original color, Again, working, adding small amounts at a time. We don't want to go overboard and try to overload it. So there's a very tiny amount of white. Slightly larger amount. Small amounts of the, of the color at a time. There's a little bit more. getting progressively lighter as we go. And eventually, with enough white in it, this will pull back to almost just very, very, very pale pink. So this is shade and tint using paint again. Biggest thing to remember when doing this is when working with the shades. With the tints, not a huge deal. White's not really going to hurt anything. But with shades, when we're adding black to a color, remember, tiny, tiny, tiny amounts at a time. Because it's really easy to go over the line from a, sh a shade of a color to just pure black. Hope you found it helpful. Happy painting. Happy arting.